Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will show the training I had with Yannick Sinner, who just won the Australian Open. As most of you have probably already seen, Yannick Sinner just beat the Nil Madvedev coming back from two sets to love in the Australian Open final. What a match. This day I was very fortunate because most of the hits that I do as a hitting partner at the Rogers Cup are match warm-ups. Darren there wasn't really too happy with my feeds. Oops. <laughs> as you heard there, Darren gave me the business telling me how bad my feeds were. But to be honest, um, I was pretty nervous so I was feeding pretty gently and high and then Sinner was just pounding the volleys at us. This drill we were working on uh, Yannick Sinner's disguise of the drop shot so he was just rallying with the both of us and then trying to implement some drop shots and then here I had again I was pretty nervous so I was just trying to volley right back at him and then <laughs> One of the cool things about being a hitting partner at the Rogers Cup is obviously warming up the players for the matches, but my favorite hits were the ones before the tournament, just like this one where it's actually training. So you actually get to see what they do in preparation and what they're working on. So here, Yannick, this, this practice was a lot about volleys and just uh, working on his disguise of the drop shot. As you can see here, we're working more on the volleys. Um, this is one of the big part of Sinner's game is trying to move forward and finish at the net. So it makes sense that this is something that he's, he's probably worked on for quite some time with Darren. Um, one thing I didn't get on film was the first thing we did in this practice was uh, he was practicing serve plus one. So I stepped on the court and Darren's like, yeah, can you go return Yannick's serve? And uh, I did a pretty decent job, but that's pretty intimidating to do that for the first thing in the practice. This hit I had with Sinner back in 2022 was probably one of my favorites from being a hitting partner at the Rogers Cup because we were doing specific work and Darren and Sinner's vibe in the practice is so chill and relaxed, but obviously still working very hard. And as you can see here, the drill he's doing to practice the drop shot, I think one thing that Sinner has been working a lot on is his patience. And I think that paid off at the Australian Open. I think a big part of his game now is being able to use his power at the right moments and being a little more patient. I think that's how he managed to beat Djokovic and Medvedev. Now, he's not going for broke so soon. He's able to actually rally consistently with the big players. <laughs> Sometimes in these practices, it can be hard to keep up with the player's pace. But as you can see here, Sinner's not really looking to pound the ball. He's doing like specific training. So even those ground strokes there, he's not trying to go for so much. Um, he's just trying to work at something he needs to improve on. I wanted to finish the video by giving you guys extra footage of a practice between Alec Perez and Sinner, now both Grand Slam champions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and comment below other videos you'd like to see in the future.